Hello, this is Mrs. Kohler, and in this podcast, I'm going to talk to you about something called ecological succession. Now, the essential question that's related to this is how do primary and secondary succession differ? So take a moment, pause this, and write that down where it says related essential question. So we'll start with the obvious question, which is what is ecological succession? Well, ecological succession is the process that an ecosystem goes through to recover after a disturbance. So whenever something disturbs an ecosystem, usually that means killing off some of the plants and animals. There's a set process that it will go through in order to recover from that and go back to normal. So an ecological disturbance is anything that disrupts the normal functioning of the ecosystem. So there's a lot of different types of disturbances, but examples would be a volcanic eruption, a fire, any kind of human activities such as mowing the lawn, clearing a lot to build a house, building a parking lot, anything like that. So in this picture, what you actually see is a lava field, and this is in Samoa. I actually took this picture when I was in Samoa, and you can see that the whole ground just looks like black rock, and you have a few plants in it, but not very many at all, because when the volcano erupted, the lava covered over the existing soil, so the ecosystem had to start back over from square one. This is about 25 years after the volcanic eruption, and you can see that very little has happened in terms of the ecosystem recovering. Now, there are two types of succession. There is primary succession and secondary succession. Primary succession occurs after something like the volcanic eruption that I just showed you a picture of. The soil is either completely destroyed or covered over. So it can happen from a volcanic eruption, from an earthquake exposing new ground that wasn't there before. It could happen from um, mudslides washing the soil away so that all that's left is bare rock. Primary succession takes a lot longer than secondary succession because the soil has to rebuild. So there's what are called pioneer species, and pioneer species are the very first species to appear after a disturbance and they will actually begin the formation of soil. So what you can see here and is what's called a lichen. A lichen is a symbiotic relationship between algae and a fungus and lichen can live on rocks. They start breaking down the rocks and start the process of soil formation. So you would get species like this right after a severe disturbance to start building the soil back up again. Now, secondary succession happens a lot more quickly, and that's because even though there's been a disturbance, there's still soil there. So this would be like after a fire, or after you mow the lawn, or after you cut trees down in a forest. There's still soil. There may even be some plants still there. The first species that are going to come back are grasses and annuals. Annuals are plants that grow new again every year from seed. So in this picture you can see secondary succession occurring where the original trees have been cleared. Um, in the background here behind me and my friend you can see grasses, you can see some shrubs, and even a few young trees forming. So. In this case, the original soil wasn't destroyed, so you see the plants coming back again fairly quickly. In this video, I want to talk to you about secondary succession. If you'll remember, primary succession happens when there's been so big of a disturbance that there's no soil left. Now, most succession that happens on Earth is going to be secondary succession. Secondary succession happens when whatever disturbance there is leave some soil behind, or in some cases even leave some plants behind. So what I'm standing in right here is my backyard. You can see that the lawn has been mowed sometime in the recent past. The grass is pretty low. There are some weeds starting to grow, but basically this is just all grasses and small plants. So 
the disturbance here was actually mowing the lawn. Now, if you allow this to grow without mowing it, you'll get an area like up here. This area right here hasn't been mowed in probably about four or five weeks. So this grass has had a chance to grow. And there's also some weeds mixed in here. It's significantly tall. So it looks different from the really well manicured mowed lawn. So this is the next step in succession. After that, if you continue to not mow, this hasn't been mowed in about a year. So this area right here is starting to get some taller weeds. It's also starting to get some small bushes and things with woody stems. And when you look up behind me, this is forest. This hasn't been disturbed in judging by the trees, probably about 50 or 60 years. This is a secondary growth forest. Um, this part of Pennsylvania was clear cut, so this is not the original forest that was here. But this has all grown back since it's been left undisturbed. So this is secondary succession when there's still some soil or some plants left there. Now, after at the end of either primary or secondary succession, you get what's called a climax community. A climax community is the final stage in succession, and it's what you usually think of as whatever type of plants you would normally see in that type of biome. So where we live in a temperate deciduous forest, our climax community would be hardwood trees like maples and oaks with very few softwood trees like pines mixed in. But to get to a climax community, it takes hundreds of years. So in Pennsylvania, 98% of the state was clear cut for logging. We have not reached our climax community again. The woods that you see around us are all fairly young trees. We have not recovered back to a climax community. And here you see a diagram of succession, like similar to the one that's on your handout. So after a disturbance, you start out with the annual plants, the flowers and grasses. Then you start getting perennial plants and grasses. Perennial means they come back year after year. Then you start getting shrubs and maybe some small trees. Then you get what are called softwood trees or pines and evergreens. And then eventually they will be replaced by hardwood trees such as maple, oak, and beech. So that is Ecological Succession, and see you in class.